as long as I am comparing myself to everybody else around me, I will never really know me, right? So comparison um, basically says is that uh, if I'm too preoccupied competing or comparing with someone else, I'll never actually know what I'm capable of. So generally what starts to happen with this comparison conversation is that I'm either comparing or I'm quote unquote competing. So some of those who, who is competitive, right? At work, numbers, sales, who's more of the competitive person? Okay, great. We also have those who's more, more of the comparison. Like I always kind of compare, what are they doing? Or how does theirs look? Or how, what about their industry, right? So, so generally one of us fall under one of the two. It's kind of the same, same. It just has a little bit of a different tone to it. So comparing basically means I'm spending, comparing and competing, generally what starts to happen, it doesn't start this way, but it ends up this way, is that um, I'm so busy and preoccupied looking at what everybody else is doing that I actually have no internal gauges to what I'm doing. Now I'm actually trying to measure up to what you're doing so much so that I don't even know what I'm capable of anymore. This is also in industries where you start to see they, them go flat because I'm so busy wondering what they do uh, because we're in the same industry that now I can't innovate any longer. Why? Because I just keep doing what the industry's always done. Here's what this also starts to look like is that we start to compare ourselves today with who we were back then. So here I am in my 30s comparing myself to how I used to act in my 20s. Or here I'm in my 50s trying to think that I'm just like I, how I should be in my 30s how it used to be when it was great, right? Some of us had have memories that were remarkable and now we just feel like we've gone downhill from there. So everything we look at today is in comparison to what we did. And so what starts to happen is now we actually deflate the potential because we're too busy looking elsewhere. And this one will ultimately kill and rob your dreams because the goal is the goal is not about you being better than the person next to you. It's not even about you competing with the other guy to get a better sales or better numbers. The goal is for you to compete with you. Yeah, I beat out that guy. Okay, great. I don't care if you beat out that guy. Did you do as much as you could do? Well, I don't know. I just beat him. That could mean that we actually left some on the table then. Because if I'm just competing with that guy to get bigger numbers or to have more cars or more money, I actually have lost sight of my own potential. Which means now I'm dependent on them, not me. Right? Or with the comparing thing, now I'm so busy looking at what they have on social media and their life looks better, happier, prettier, easier, which everything on social media does. <laughs> right. And then you talk to them on the phone and they're like crying about their life story. And you're like, that's not what it looks like on social media. That's interesting. Right. But now I'm actually making all these unconscious decisions, um, comparing myself to you. And so I've lost the gift that I've been given, which is me. Okay. So what, what I would like to suggest is a little bit what Michael Jordan found in his career that changed everything. And I've shared this before, but I think it's a powerful point here is that Michael Jordan hit a point in his career where he started to flatline and he actually started, he, he says that there was a moment on the bus that he started to go, oh crap, if I keep playing like this, my game is going to flatline and I won't be the greatest. And he always wanted, that was his thing. He wanted to be the greatest. And he said it was this epiphany that he had in the bus that at one point in time, he realized I'm starting to compete with everybody around me. I'm starting to compare myself to my last game. I'm comparing myself to that guy. I'm comparing myself to that guy. I'm just trying to compete with that guy. And he said, in one moment, he made a, like a vow with himself that says, I will no longer compete with somebody else. I'm going to compete with me. And his game changed the rest of his history. Why? Because he went into every game, not worried about the guy next to him or not even competing with his, with, with the person, you know, the other team, he went into every single game going, what would it look like for me to show up and be the best version of me? Most of us don't do that. Most of us are making our goals in comparison to what they have. Most of us are living our lives based upon what we should have, did have, might have as opposed to going, what would it look like if I showed up every single day and just stepped into being the best version of me? If you want to run faster, run faster. If you could do more goals more, or more sales, do more sales. If you could go further, go further. 
Most of us aren't thinking that way. We're just looking at either what we did last or we're looking at what he or she did. And so we've completely lost the ability to check in with ourselves and go, could I do one more here? So comparison is actually going to get me so others focused that I can't stay me focused. And the only thing that makes me different than you is actually the gift that God give, gave me, which is me. It's it's me. It's me learning to become the best version of me in every situation, in every push-up, in every conversation, not worrying what somebody else thinks, because guess what? It's not mine. How they play the game, how they do their sales, how they run their business, how they do their marriage isn't mine. This is even where personality profiles or Enneagrams can get tricky because even though maybe some of us are eights or some of us are nines or some of us, yeah, but nobody has my story with my background and my unique abilities and my take and my spin on the world. And so what we have to realize is that actually the competitive spirit needs to just simply be channeled into going, what would it look like for me to be the best version of me today in this moment? with what I've been given, with the current circumstances. Otherwise, if I keep comparing, I'm going to give my power away. I'm going to give my power away. So the goal is not to be better than anybody else. The goal is to be the best version of you. But you can never be the best version of you if you're too busy looking at everybody else. So what does that mean real time? What that means real time is it's going to be some gut checks. It's going to be some, some opportunity to check your motive. Are you doing what you're doing to prove a point? Or are you doing what you're doing because you can't not? Are you doing what you're doing to feel important, to feel loved, to feel more valuable, more significant, more important? Or are you doing it because you are loved and you are important and you know what your potential is, or at least you're committed to finding it? In those moments of comparison, what I would like for you to suggest for you to be is to simply just continue to say to yourself, right? You could be on social media and go, man, they have this or they have that, or it's not as good. And you go, good on them. But the goal is not for me to compete or compare with them. The goal is for me to be the best version of me. So what's possible? Honor them. When you see someone else, when you see someone write your healthy competition, good on you. And then check back in with yourself and go, what would it look like if I just competed with me? Who knows? You'll be the next Michael Jordan, you guys. 